My guy, Freddie P, man. Happy to have you back, my man. I'm happy to be here. What's up, brother? Hey, man. Just grinding, man. Trying to make this money, man. You know how it goes. Yes, what's up, bro? Good to be here, man. You know, I love this this, this platform right here. It's basically the only one I do. It's all love, man. But before we get into everything, you and Gene Deal, y'all good? I came across a video you made on IG going at him. Y'all both good? Um, Let me put it like this with Gene, right? I seen a video that he had did on your platform and uh, in response to me. Let me, let me let me put this out there for Gene, you hear me? Because at the time, because I've been getting, I've been all these niggas, like, they be acting like they don't see my DMs, acting like they don't see me when I'm under their big ass post. You know what I mean? But they'll get on, 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 on platforms and, and respond, but won't respond to, to a man face to face. Like, let me, let, me, let me say this about Gene and anybody. Because when I first heard it, I was hot. But it's a couple of days, don't live with it. And I, my thing with Gene, let me say this, man. Gene, you felt like I would, you wanted to make this a teaching moment. I sat up on this same platform and gave you props probably three or four times. This is my problem with these niggas. You give these niggas props, they don't, they don't acknowledge it. They don't say nothing. You say one small thing about a nigga. And he felt like he wanted to make a whole seven minute video to a real nigga. Uh, Gene, I don't know your definition of gangster. Cause people always say, oh, you no, I don't know no. And he also said something that this is what really got me. He like, oh, I don't know no real gangster. Don't my nigga. I said what I said about Gene was about a book. You hear me? That's me making an opinion about what his opinion was about the book. I'm all right, I'm entitled to that. Just as it, just the same thing. Nobody said nothing to Gene when he made an opinion about a woman, about that woman, not you know, uh, um, in in the nightclub. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't think I don't hear. You know, I don't believe that because you know what he was saying. He discredited that woman, right? He had an opinion. That's all I'm saying. So if it's okay for you to have an opinion, what's wrong with me having an opinion? You said something about the book, and I felt like you know what I'm saying. My opinion was, and I stated that I ain't disrespect you, but you want to come in here and attack a character like you know a nigga like me. I ain't, I ain't nobody, bro. Like I said, I ain't no gangster. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what nigga definition of a gangster, but I'm gonna tell you something, my nigga. I'm from Liberty City, Dade County. I'm from Brown Sub, living in Overtown most of my life, dog. I ain't really come up like these niggas came up. If you came up home, coming home, eating every day, had your mama and daddy there, I didn't have that. If you came home, if you ain't go to sleep, uh, I went to sleep on bags of clothes that was mildew. I used to go to school with mildew clothes. So when you see me, I'm a humble nigga. You don't see me out here trying to, he talking about, oh, niggas want to mention Gene name. Let me tell you something, Gene, I've been around real gangsters. I'm talking about real street niggas. And these niggas in the fed, these niggas. I'm talking about I was under Michael Jordan. When I done been, in, I done been partying with Jordan and ain't take no picture, nigga. I done shook hands with Denzel Washington. Ain't take no motherfucking pictures. Ain't bother to take no pictures. I done been in the events with Jay-Z and they ain't take no motherfucking pictures. So you tell me what the f I get out of talk about a gene deal. What cloud is a gene deal gonna bring a Freddie P, my nigga? When I die, they gonna make that shit an announcement over social media or everything. When you die, you gonna die as a rat or, or a Judas, my nigga. I mean, let's just be, let's just call it what it is. And that's not to be disrespectful because I, 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 I actually was commending you for what you did, but I mean, wanna be real about it, my nigga. And we talking about character, you, a, you know, to me, you a sucker. You know what I'm saying? For what you, for the movement, for what's going on with the Puffy situation with me, bro. I got a reason. I'm a disgruntled employee. This is why you take care of your own. I'm, a, I'm an example of why you treat the, the, the janitor the same way as you treat the, you know? As you, it's, I'm, I'm an example of you treat your employees well. I'm a, I'm a disgruntled employee. This is the backlash of what Puffy get. What's your excuse? He paid you. He don't owe you nothing. He did everything, everything that y'all, that, that he was obligated to do. As far as I know, you ain't never said nothing about he owe you. You just a nigga who, you know what I mean, to me, sat around a man family, sat around a man kids, pretending to be family, pretending to have love for somebody, and then when things ain't go your way, you went on some shit. That's some federal shit. That's some Marcus Garvey, the nigga that took down Marcus Garvey type shit. I can't stand them type of nigga. You want to keep that energy for me, my nigga. I'm going to tell you something, bro. Like, bro, I ain't a nigga to play with. You hear me? I'm, I'm going to get at you. I mean, whoever. You know, this ain't a gene. This anybody. I don't know how to tolerate disrespect. And I know my downfalls. I've been trying to be like an industry nigga for so long. My thing with these niggas is everybody is trying to be what I'm trying so hard not to be. You get what I'm saying? 
Like I came from the worst of the worst, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like I stayed slept in the house with no water. I used to steal, we used to steal our neighbors' water. We used to take buckets to steal our neighbors' water just to flush our toilets, my nigga. We all bathed in the same water sometimes. That was only that was only high enough for our ankles. I ate syrup sandwiches and loved it, nigga. Mayonnaise sandwiches. That's my favorite. You get what I'm saying? Just cause you see me on TV, I got there by God given talent. You ain't never seen no Freddie P promote no motherfucker CD. You ain't never seen me trying to be on nobody's stage, not with my own dollar. I never tried to be a rapper in my motherfucking life. I got paid at 16 to rap. A nigga paid me to stay out the streets to rap because I used to come in his shop and cause a crowd and go back out of there. And he understood one thing about me. He was like, man, why don't you come do music, man? I'm trying to do this. So I'm like, man, listen, man. I gotta go with what? Pay me, bro. I'm getting money. I can't stop getting money. And everybody who know me, even Young Bird, I'm talking to Young Bird, we and Young Bird used to stay together. I'm talking to Young Bird one day after he had became successful. This after he had done wrote the, the, the record for the Brax and Sister. Cause Young Bird was going through it. You know what I'm saying? We all lived in the same house. I understood the struggle at the same time. I understood what my brother was going through at the time. Niggas was blackballing, niggas was hating on him. So he told me this one day. He was like, bro, you know the difference between me and you? Cause we love the right. We writers, we workers. And he like, man, I done sat in this house and, and, and seen you in the studio three, four in the morning, nigga, when I'm coming from the club. That's inspiring. He like, nigga, I know, like, you love this. He said, the difference between me and you is, dog. And then he said, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. He said, me, my nigga, when this don't work for me, I have to, I have to come back to the studio and make it work. I have to try to get a hit. I have to continue to go. He said, if it don't work for you, you run to the street, cause that's what you know well. That's what you used to get money from. He said, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? He's like, cause I can't go to the street to get no money. I have to do this. He was like, with you, that might have hindered you from being successful. You know what I'm saying? Just for me being able to have the ability to go back to the streets or the mentality to go back to the streets and get money, it stopped me from pursuing my career. I'm not trying to be, I'm trying not to be. I never wanted to be a rapper. I never printed up a CD. I never. So when you see these niggas out here talking about attention grabbers, why don't I don't? I had an Instagram for for like two years. I'm cold as shit. I had an Instagram for like two years before I let people know that that was my Instagram because my first two Instagrams got deleted by Puffy and the Puffettes. So I just wanted to be in peace. I just wanted to know what it feel like to have a voice without people watching you, judging you. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be famous. I didn't care for all this. When, when I made the band money, I didn't know about Diddy a week before. I didn't know about making the band a week before. You know what I'm saying? I literally was selling dope. And we used to, every weekend we used to have like a, a car wash out there and we'll be giving out food and shit like that. So, you know, we got the music speakers playing. Wow, commercial come on, 99 Gems. They like, Diddy, Diddy down here looking for artists. Puffy, bad boy down here looking for artists. Herbie, get down here. Herbie, get down here. And I'm, I'm give, I remember it like it was yesterday, you know, she's 20s. So I'm giving a lady change. She gave me a 50, I gave her a 20. So I'm giving her a change. And when I look up, everybody around me looking at me like, you heard that? I'm like, what? They like, man, Puffy down here looking for artists. Boy, you better go down now. So I put my head back down going back to, cause you know, from Miami at that time, you don't see yourself getting a deal, especially with no Puff Daddy. So I never in my life printed, printed up a CD. I've never tried. My money, to, still to this day, the reason I think I haven't been successful is because I don't have it in me to be what these got the, 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 the drive. I got the skill. So if I don't have a team around me, I'll never be successful because I don't have it in me to go print up a CD and ask you to listen to me. That's too much like asking you to be down with me. That's too much begging for you to be, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to say it. Me, me paying for studio, it's not like when we came in the game. When we came in the game, you got paid the route. Now you have to pay the route. You get what I'm saying? You have to pay for people to like you? Nah, I'm all right, because I don't even want the attention. My worst fit is making a hit. So I say that to say that with Gene, because I don't want to be on tour. I want to be on J3K. Excuse me, 3K. But I say that to say this to Gene, you ain't never met a nigga like me. Well, for whatever, for whatever reason you feel like, oh, oh I'm a, what the hell am I going to cloud up off a Gene for? What a Gene deal going to do for me? If I ain't never, I've been in the room with Michael Jordan, Several times, it was me, Jordan, Winky White, shout out Graydon, my brother Graydon, because they was like best, he was like good friends with Jordan. Free Graydon, free G. You know what I'm saying? And it's just the people I came up around, like the, 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 the nigga that's in me, 
it ain't kept, it, it don't come from wanting to be attention. I really was just in this, this like to feed my family. I never thought it would last. I never, you know how Jay-Z them got longevity? Nothing don't last in my life, bro. Like, I'm, I didn't come from that. So when I see people try to associate me with people who try to be fake street guys, and I don't have to come from that, bro. Like, I'm literally, <laughs> I'm born in this shit, and I don't want to be in it. I don't want to, I, I don't, I ain't want to have to snatch purses to fucking eat. This is what I had to do. You niggas was going home. Your mama, you got good parents, bro. I don't know what that shit feel like. I don't know, my nigga. That's why I try to be a great dad, because I don't know, my nigga. That shit just touching me, because I hate being mis misrepresented by these niggas. You don't know me, bro. Like, I, I done been in front of the judge for shooting a nigga and they shit. I don't run. So when I tell you I'm a gangster, it's because of my actions that's proven to me. Stuff I didn't know I was capable of at the time, but I had to live through money. So gangster to me is not throwing a flag around. I don't need 40 niggas to do what I'm going to do. Like most of these niggas, you get what I'm saying? I don't need to be a part of a security team. I don't need, and my thing with him was, You got mad at me for having an opinion when you got an opinion about everything. You know what I'm saying? You giving an opinion about every everything that's that every god Diddy situation, Diddy kids situation, Diddy mama situation. I mean, come on, man. And all the love I showed you, you never once said it's just like any. That's why I don't be fucking with niggas. You never said nothing, but I said something about you one time. I check my own brother if he wrong. I tell my mama when she, I'm a Sagittarius, is in me. I'm never going to lie. I'm never going to steal because I'm not scared of no nigga. I'll take it from you, but I'm going to look you in your face and let you know nigga, I'm taking it because you're a sucker if that's the situation. But I'll never steal. You know how that feel? That's like sitting on wet toilet paper like, I'm stealing from you? What you going to do to me, nigga? I hate to be associated with sucker shit. Cause I try, I pride my life on just doing everything the right way, even when I'm in the bathroom. You know, like I, I always feel like God looking. I don't steal. I don't do no sucker. Shit. You feel what I'm saying? And it's people out here that I don't wrong, but I can't get rich and not doing right. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not claiming to be perfect. I'm just saying there's nothing flaw that I can see about myself. I'm not trying to. You know how most people try to do stuff to impress the internet. I don't got that in me. I don't even want to be, I don't even like attention. So when you meet a man that want to be somebody and uh, I only f with art. If I wanted so much attention, why did I turn down Piss Morgan? Why did I turn down ABC, CBS, all these people that's in my DM to talk about a nigga? I don't want to talk about no nigga. I do it with art because art introduced me to this. This is what I feel comfortable with to tell my story, to, to clear my voice. But I'm not running around on no camp, no puffy campaign, like certain people. I'm not trying to, be, I could have made way more money, you know what I'm saying, just doing that. Cause he owed me. I have an excuse to nigga owe me. What's your excuse, Gene? Besides, cause I, I ain't finna sit around, no ain't no nigga I ever sat around that I would sit up and tell a story about. And I got niggas I don't even fuck with no more. So that's just sucker shit, man. And, but we ain't, you know, you want to call me out. But you, on the other hand, your character in question. I never even questioned it. Because I'm, I'm from that street shit. I don't play with this, Gene. I don't know how to deal with disrespect. I don't know how to tolerate it. So I make a video. I'm impulsive. That's why a lot of situations where I feel like God be protecting me because if it happened right there, I'm going right there. And this, this is this doc, like in my family know this. Like I, he, I don't got him. I know I'm very intelligent, but when I get into a situation, my I can't control how I react right then unless I had time to think. You get what I'm saying? I don't care if the police right there. That's documented. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know what's your definition of gangster. My definition is I just ain't no nigga to be played with. I ain't no nigga you could talk to. I ain't no nigga you could put your hands on. You got to kill me all the time. You got to go there off top. I, I can't even imagine a nigga punching me. I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I would move to your fucking city probably. Like I'm, I'm like, 
That's why I stay to myself. I don't bother people. I don't disrespect. I give everybody respect. You know what I'm saying? Even if you feel like you a buddy or you feel like you got 30 guns, 30 niggas that'll move when you say so, I still give everybody respect. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know how to tolerate disrespect. And that sucker shit to me. You know, so he, you know, he just said a lot of shit that rubbed me the wrong way. And it's like, nigga, what? Because we could go there. What you want? I, 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 I'll come where you want me to. We could go there. But I guarantee you ain't on what I'm on. My nigga, honey, if you got anybody you love and you ready to come home to, you ain't on what I'm on. I done been in that bitch, you feel me? Looking at 20 years with nothing, no worry. I walked in there, ain't no, go check every time I ever went to jail, I walked in there, ain't no, ain't no looking for Freddie P. Ain't no Freddie P running. I turned myself in on my 18th birthday. I turned myself in on my 21st birthday and them warrants I had for years. Cause you ain't gotta look for me. When I, when I went through my situation and they ain't, ain't come around, look, you ain't gotta look for me. I'm pulling up. I'm, I face my consequences. I don't run from shit, bruh. I'm not saying I'm this and that. This is just how my brothers raised me. This is how I'm raised not to be no sucker. I wouldn't know what it feel like to be a pussy, bruh. I wouldn't know what it feel like to have a nigga. Man, you got to beat me. You got to kill me, man. You got to, bro. I couldn't live with myself. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't being bad. This, my, this is something that I, this is why I stay in my house to myself. I don't hang out because I know what I'm capable or somebody going to kill me or I'm going to kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? So if you know you're not there to, to, to keep myself out here for my kids, I stay away from this, man. I stay away from this, man. I'm different. I don't, you know, niggas like to steal. Niggas like to get over. Niggas like to just do sucker shit. I just ain't no sucker shit. With me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I can't sit around you. And then I got dogs that I don't talk to, man. Me, me and my dogs don't slept in the same house. We used to get up, do everything. Bro. We t Listen, the difference between me and y'all is I never had a job. Yeah, I did. I had one job in my life, dog. And I got fired for slapping a nigga with a pool stick. I've been getting the streets, getting mine from the streets since I was a kid. You get what I'm saying? I was 14. No, what grade I was in? I was at Jackson, ninth grade. I think I was 14 years old when I pulled my first robbery by myself. I was hungry as fuck. It was 2 in the morning. I'm by myself. My mom and them in their sleep. I, she, now, when she had, she had got like a little lawsuit. And every time my mama come up, she'll do something big. But she like real, real loose with money. Be broke. Like she had one time, she had like $40,000. And then she was broke like the end of the year. Because my mama got a big heart. She'll say, tell she always try to do for people. So one time my mom, she had to bought us some jackets, some UM jackets. This is the only thing she bought us. Because that's our favorite team. She went to UM. And the jackets hung down the hip. You hear me? Like they were so long. It was everything to me. You know what I used to use that jacket for? To lay on the street like a bum. I used to go to this little light. It's a light by, uh, I don't want to say no names, you know what I'm saying? It's a light by a school. And the light always blinking. But it's like you got to get off the E-way e and then you got to stop at the light. So that was just my robbery light. That's how I ate. Like, when the money was gone, I had to go back to the light. You get what I'm saying? When I grew up in Overtown, when I was in Overtown um, and robbing all them boys, Used to be snatching purses. We the lookout. This is what I've been seeing in my household since a kid. When I went to school at eight years old, seven years old, and I walked past the bathroom six in the morning, I see a bitch get beat. I'm seeing blood across the bathroom walls. I, my, my childhood wasn't like everybody else's. My mama shot her own brother. That's just, that's just, that's just explaining to you what type of environment I grew up in. Why I had to judge. Why I'm like I am. I don't want to be like this. Y'all think I'm aggressive or something? Like I'm just... I come from this to where you have, I come from it. It's not made up. Only piece I had in my life is when I had to go to my grandma house. And that's where you see, you will see the difference between me and my brothers. You know what I'm saying? You'll see my grandma side and me, but you see straight savage in there. All that's intelligent. But I had my grandma. My grandma provided that piece for me. You know what I'm saying? That's who, and she also taught me like, about the word no, something that would apply in my life. Like, the worst thing a person could do is tell you no, don't be afraid to ask for something. Cause I used to be scared to ask her for food. I'd be in that bitch starving in the back. She like, you hungry? I'm like, she like, boy, you hungry? You better sit in my house hungry, I'll beat your ass. My grandma didn't play that shit about that food. And I sat there, I was so scared to ask for something cause I'm, I'm that type of nigga, I, I would thug it out. But I don't want to go long story, I was just explaining myself to these niggas. 
because these niggas be thinking I'm one of these rap niggas who been printing CDs since I was 14. I never printed no CD or no, no uh, flyer in my life. If you ever seen my face on the flyer, somebody else's money got spun on that. You ever seen my face on, I'm not him. People always looked at me and say, the nigga raw, the nigga got skills. That's how I got to Diddy. Diddy ain't come to me. He ain't know me a week before. Unlike most of these niggas who get deals, most of these niggas who get deals, they got a cousin who was hanging around Puff for a while. And I ain't know this nigga. I went from selling dope, and next week I'm in New York. Week prior to that, never heard of this. Never heard of a band. Never even watched MTV, the band. I wasn't even a TV type nigga, you hear me? So even, I didn't even watch making the band uh, to probably like two years after it was over. I never even seen power since the episode where 50 Cent killed the, the police officer lady. I'm not into what everybody, if everybody else, I've never even seen, what's the show with the cookie lady? Never even seen it. Never watched George Floyd die. I'm just explaining what kind of character I am. I don't do what everybody else do. I live by God. I have my own rules. I deal with him head on. It's why a lot of stuff you see me prophesize come true because I'm close to him. I've been close to him since six years old. I ain't got nothing to prove to no whack 100s or him or no nigga. Just go ask. That's it, man. You hear me? Like, and keep, I ask you, keep my name out that sucker shit because you ain't really like ready to go there. Man, you got to keep me out your mouth, bro. Because I, man, I'm going to make you, I'm going to make you risk it all or I'm going I'm to I'm lose it all trying to teach you not to play with me. And it's just ignorance, bro. It's just ignorance, my nigga. You said your opinion, I said my opinion. I ain't take your character. I done sat on this stage on the same platform and gave this nigga plenty of props. And they never once said nothing. No thing, oh man, I see you, Freddie P. Nothing, right? You, which you don't have to. But why acknowledge the bad if I ain't disrespect you? You made an opinion about a book. In order to get my opinion across of thinking that the book was real, I had to say, Gene, I think your story a little flawed because, and I ain't disrespecting when I said it. I said, I think you was just protecting the fact that everybody rhyme. But we ain't we gonna discuss it. Let's talk about character. What type of nigga sit around and they kids and they wanna go on a World War II acting like you some modest man? Acting like you ain't had nothing to do with nothing. I ain't say it like that, but that's just what it is. You Judas, my nigga. No nigga, any nigga got you around them right now is a damn fool. You a lot, you a living tape recorder, my nigga. That's any nigga that sit around their homeboys and record all the fuck shit he do, knowing you gonna go to the police one day. Now you wanna talk about being a social worker. I just seen Choke No Joke talk about you bringing guns across the state line. You wanna be a thug, nigga. You, 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 was, you was trying to do this shit that we do every day. You was trying to do this shit. I just got a call sitting here to kill a nigga. What are you doing? Y'all niggas gonna make me go to prison just trying to prove to you that I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm not who you think I am, homie. You know what I'm saying? I done sat in front of that judge. I know what that shit feel like when you think you finna be gone away from your son. I ain't no bitch. You know what I'm saying? I can say I'm no bitch. I can literally say, a lot of people be saying they not no, I ain't no bitch. And I can say it by my actions that the, I done proved I'm not a bitch. So if you hear me say I ain't no bitch, I got a right to say it. What's y'all excuse? You niggas just be saying you ain't no bitch the whole, whole time you got whole actions. You do flaw shit. You disrespect your mama, but you won't disrespect a nigga in the street. No disrespect to nobody, man. All I say is, when you come for a nigga like me, just kill me, dog. If, I always tell people, man, if it ain't worth killing, man, leave that shit alone. You know what I'm saying? It ain't worth it to me. If it ain't worth killing, you feel like it's just an argument, then leave that shit alone. Because I'm going to make you kill me every time or I'm going to go there with you. Every time. Ain't gonna, I'm not finna go away from my kid. You're not finna take me from my kid like that. And if I feel of a threat, I get nervous. And my nerves is different from your nerves. That's it. My nerves is different from your nerves. My panicking is different from your panicking. Your panicking might cause you to sit up in the room, be scared, call the police or whatever the fuck you do with your life, my nigga. Now y'all, you, you want to look at me a certain type of way because I, I respond a certain type of way to, to violence. I don't move, I don't leave out my house. I don't look for violence. I don't bother nobody. I pray 20, I'm on, I read the Bible every fucking day. But you can't when you got these niggas keep constantly pulling you back 
These niggas would not let, this ain't shit with Dirk, what I was saying. These niggas would not let you just move on. You really trying to be different. They trying to prove something. It's a difference. I've seen me all these years on the bed. I never said a motherfucking word. You know why? The whole time, what they say about the quietest nigga in the room. I'm like this everywhere, though. This ain't made up. This ain't fake. Or this ain't stage. This is who I am. This is my character. The quietest nigga in the room is who? It's truth. It's who I've always been. And you and now y'all see me doing these interviews, it's because a nigga owe me. I'm on his ass. I've been on his ass before he went to jail. I wouldn't have did this shit if, he, if, 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 if I ain't had the heart to do it when he was out. I feel like a sucker, you know what I'm saying? I don't even, I don't even be like on puffy neck like that. I just tell him straight up, you all nigga. That's it. You got some, f you did some, f some, f you know. And we all do. Sh I come from crime, so you know you don't want to see the man go down. And even if he go down, it's kind of like. All the suckers, it's kind of like, all the suckers always get away. You know what I'm saying? That shit irritate me. Right? The real nigga got to do the time. And the sudden nigga talking about big meat snitch. I don't, I don't permit snitch. But you know what? Chopo need to snitch. That's what the streets up is. Police took the real nigga and left you niggas out here. You nigga going to snitch anyway. You nigga going to tell anyway. Might well get you niggas out the fucking way. Let free meat, free Chapo, free all the real niggas. Bring them back. Free Graylin, free fucking Booby, free all the real niggas. And, 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 and man, tell, take, take the workers. And them big ass niggas out here, they failing us. They failing our community, they failing their kids, they failing us. At least the dope boys did something and, and, and still for some. At least they helped the community. At least they helped mama when the bills was gone. You niggas is pussy. You telling on each other you want to kill. Everybody don't, nobody want to kill. No, everybody want to beef with their ex-friends. Nobody beefing with real opposition no more. I never grew up like that. I never grew up where I had to worry about a nigga who slept in my house and called my mama mama. We don't talk to this day. We all real steppers, my nigga. And we don't even fucking, and you ain't got to worry about me coming to get you. I ain't got to worry about them coming to get me. But these little niggas, out here killing each other, shooting up each other mama houses, but you slept in my mama house. That's, that's fear to me. Why are you going after somebody you know everything about? You don't want to go after the man who really calling you out. That's like these other niggas. Y'all want to whack one. All these niggas, I've been in, I've been, I'm in your DM with it. Address me like you dress these other niggas. See if a nigga don't walk down all that, you going to hit me in my mouth. I don't even know how to tolerate a nigga threatening me. So please tell me you going to hit me in my mouth. I'm going to take it very seriously. I don't even know how to tolerate that type of shit. I don't know where these niggas come from. But niggas where I'm from, it's just a respect thing. We don't play like that. I don't play with niggas. I don't joke. You know what I'm saying? And look at me on 158. Oh, imagine me talking like I'm big, like I can't be punched on, kicked in the ass, uh, shot, whatever, whatever. So if I'm talking like this, then that should let you in a city full of hitters. Because this city ain't... You hear me? I don't went to war with some real niggas. Then you gonna respect me, man. You ain't 10% of the niggas I've been in the street with. Fuck you gonna do? You around here, you, you, you a civilized, you got a good mama and daddy. You, you, you a civilized, you a good human being. You a civilian. We two different, we two different individuals, dog. I didn't come up like y'all. We ain't have beds. We slept on floors. We slept on well, bags of clothes. You know, we had to wash our clothes out on hand. We ain't go to school with them bitches mildew. I don't got pride. I don't kill. I don't come from what these niggas come. When you see me, I can come out of the house and anything. Cause I know God bless me for real. I look good for real. I'm not saying I'm some model, but I'm not an ugly nigga. I don't have to put on no earrings. And most of these niggas ugly. And they had to do all that. I'm talking about ugly on the inside and everything. So when I feel like God always blessed me, bro. I've been like that since a kid, man. God bless my son the same way. And his mom be like, man, you could be so, like, you know, so much potential to be. Uh, GQ Magazine called for me when I was in the band. They turned it down, but they let Sarah do King Magazine. That was some shit. But I'm just saying, like, when it comes to women, women like 
men that that's protectors. Uh, women like real niggas, bro. Real niggas, bro. Especially if you're getting money. That's every woman want a real nigga who got money. They'll pick him over a sucker any day. A, a real nigga with money gonna always win. I feel you. So I gotta ask you, man. With you and Gene Deal being the homies, how could we squash this whole situation? Uh, I mean, like I said, if it ain't worth killing, that shit ain't nothing to me. He said what he said, I said what I said. I just feel like he ain't had to attack my character. I don't feel like if I see Gene, I'm gonna run down him. I don't feel like that. Like if Gene stole from me or Gene would have put his hands on somebody I know, then it wouldn't even be no nothing you could talk about. Nothing you could mediate. But it's not, I'm coming from the street for real. Like I'm not social media beefing with no nigga. You said what you said, what I said, what I said. If you feel some type of way when you see me, hit me in the mind. Hit me, put ketchup on my shit and see how it turn out for you. Maybe you'll get away with it. You know, but now I've been in every city. One thing I can say about me, the difference between other niggas and me, Gene, I done been in every city, every other city, and I had to stand by myself. I ain't need no security guard. I ain't need no team of securities. You know what I'm saying? And it's some it's some savages out here. It done been places that done had Baton Rouge. I mean, not Baton Rouge, uh, uh, New Orleans. And it's some places out here that had me like, yo, I'm going back to my fucking hotel room. So I ain't finna sit here and claim like I'm the most thugged out ass nigga and, and some nigga. Oh, yeah, nigga. I'm, just a, I'm smart, though. You know? And my thing is, uh, that type of situation, if it ain't worth killing, man, leave, leave me out your conversation, man. That's how I feel about a lot of situations. If it ain't worth killing, leave me alone. Because I ain't, I ain't arguing with no nigga that ain't worth going to sit down about. And you don't, you don't just because you had an opinion and I had an opinion too, man, could disagree. You know, you don't fuck me, I don't fuck you. We ain't, we ain't, you know, ain't like we ever going to work together. We ain't got to sit in the same environment. It is what it is. I feel like he, you know, I don't, I don't feel like he ever see, he said enough for me to want to do nothing to him. Words can't. My brother taught me something when I was young, and I think it changed my life forever. And then everybody been hearing it, but it's true. Sticks and stones will break your bones. Words, <sighs> like you have to physically touch me, or you have to. It's a difference from what you know and you're capable of, and somebody who's trying to prove something. Like, I don't want to bring harm to nobody. I don't want to see your kids crying 16 for nine years, 16 years from now on Facebook. I know what that feel like. That's on my dead mother. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, with you can never be me, Gene. I'm trying to be something else. I'm trying to be a civilian. I want to know what it feel like to go to work every day. I want to know what it feel like to come home to a wife. And, you know, um, the stuff that I see on Instagram, that stuff that, you know, when I see men... Waking up to their kids, dog, I should be touching my heart. Like, damn, dog, I wish that was me, bro. I wish I just, you know, I wish I went another route and this shit wasn't for me. I wish I had different parents sometime. I wish I had different environments sometime. But I'm stuck in situations that I had no choice but to adapt to.